Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Cubase Elements 10. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Groove Agent and load it up with a clip, a drum loop. Maybe you have a drum loop that you really like the sound of the kick and the snare in, but you're not too fond of the drum beat and you want to create your own drum beats and use that sample uh, for your MIDI drums. So first I'm going to go over and take a look at some drum beats. Need one with a crash, so I'll just drag that on here. And this one, I like the way the kick sounds. So next I'm going to just go over here and drag the groove agent in. And what I want to do is load up a kit onto these pads here. Um, that already has the names in it so I can keep the naming convention the same so that if I ever change the kit I can uh, then everything will be mapped up perfectly and I won't have to worry about like a clap happening on a kick drum or some other weirdness going on so what I suggest doing is click up here in the top and do a search for Brit Winter and you can just you know start typing in up here and it will show up double click it and it will load in onto the pads and you'll see here that you have kick snare and hi-hats and crashes and things like that so once that is done then um, you can rename this to whatever you like I'll just call it Warren's kit and um, leave it at that and then what I'm going to do is delete all of the samples off of these pads now if you're just looking to replace a couple of the samples maybe you don't like the kick and the snare in this particular uh, setup you want to replace it with your own you can do that um, otherwise you know go for broke and replace everything and find all the samples that you want to use and they don't usually have to be drums you can record something with your phone email it to yourself download it load it in as a sample and um, it'll work in this same fashion so what I'm going to do is just select all of these pads by clicking the first pad and press control and A for select all and then right click and remove all samples now that took a lot of work to get it to this point so what I'm going to do is save this blank setup of these pads with no samples I'll just right click up here and go to save preset and I'll call this just blank just call it blank canvas and leave all of this um, you can fill it in if you want I just am going to leave it blank and I'm also going to put my name after it so that I have all of these uh, keywords to search for when I'm looking for this so click OK and then it's going to save it and this is the start of your kick so I'll show you like from starting from scratch if I deleted this Groove Agent track and started from the beginning it's going to load up it's not going to have anything on there I click here to load um, the kit and I'll just look for blank and there's blank canvas double click that and it loads in all the pads and they're still empty so now we get to put samples onto these pads and if I go back over here to the browser these files are in a different format than WAVE so I can't really drag them onto a pad it won't work that way um, so when you drag these clips into Cubase, Cubase automatically formats them to be the proper format for doing things like this and um, and then you don't have to worry about you know converting files or using external program to do that or anything it's already Cubase has did all the heavy lifting for us so now I'm going to get these clips into um, chunks that I can drag onto the pads because I necessarily can't drag the entire drum clip uh, drum kit onto the pad and have it go on the proper spaces so what you want to do is I'm going to mute one of these. One of these clips has a crash starting off. 
so there's a crash there and then I like the beats on the second clip here kick sounds good so what I'm going to do is have Cubase um, use the hit points the hit points are wherever you see the wave um, happening here and let it cut it up in the chunks now when you do this you don't want to have it in musical mode because that won't particularly work so you want to leave the clips um, not in musical mode and then go up to audio hit points and divide audio events at hit points and it will cut it up into all these sections here I'm going to do it for this clip here audio hit points divide audio events at hit points so now it's done the same thing so I have all these um, ready and they can go in to groove agent so I'm just going to drag this up here make it a little easier and open up groove agent now there's the thing about this is what's going to happen is it's going to if I drag this onto this pad it's going to change the name of the kick I'll just show you that happened first first I'm going to find a kick in here so that sounds like I'll use this kick right here if you can't uh, distinguish the kick you can always drag these out and listen to them on their own track make sure it's what you want so that sounds okay so now what I'm going to do is render bounce this copy because I can't really change the name of it if I double click this um, well you see that it says drum beat here and I don't have any way to change the name up here so what I'm going to do is uh, we'll get an error if you wanted to name this kick it will say that it can't rename the file after a while if you have more than one of these so if I drag this down onto the kick it should say kick wave so now we have a file on there called kick wave and now find I remember this one is the is the crash that I want to use so let's see if it works on that so I was having an error that it won't work. Yep. So here's the error you might get. It says could not rename the file. So I'll click OK. So this is where that bounce is going to come in handy. And this would be a bounce in place. So I'll go up here to audio and I'm sorry, bounce selection. Click that. Replace events. Yes, we want to replace the events. So see now it put a zero one after this so now I can rename this crash and I'll show you why we're doing that a little bit later towards the end of the tutorial so I'll drag that here onto the crash and now I got the crash now that particular crash hat also has a um, kick on it so I got the kick and I got a crash so now I need a snare so I'll just take a listen in here so let's listen to this one down here so I use one of these snares click on this do the bounce selection replace and then call this snare and it doesn't actually change the name here I think it puts it on the end take a look yeah so it puts it there that's okay so I'm going to drag that one on here to this top square now I have a snare so now I have kick snare and crash so you can load all of these up the way that you want to um, and once you have your whole kit built if you want to build a whole kit you can leave some of it in the, some of it in there but you're going to have problems exporting your custom kit because it's not going to export the uh, files that are in Cubase that are protected 
So we can just use our own things from a loop or something or something that recorded on our phone. So after that's done, uh, what I want to do is save this kit as my own name. So I renamed it here and I'm going to go to save preset and I'll just call this um, Warren's Rock Kit and leave all this other stuff blank. You can put this in there to, you know, make it easier to find, but any of these um, keywords you can do a search in there for. So now I have this Warren Rock Kit um, selected. And while I'm doing, while I'm right on here, I'll show you what happens when you export. So we have this kit, right? And maybe we want to uh, send it to our friend or something or back it up. All you do is right click on this and go to export kit with samples and I'm going to double click put this on the desktop and here it has some information that's definitely not me just author warn and you can put in some other information just make sure there's no other Library manufacturer, I probably don't need that. Groove Agent SC, that's okay. Let's make sure there's nothing in here. Uh, Pop Rock Toolbox, library name. Um, yeah, or the Kit SC or something. Pop Rock Toolbox might be okay. It doesn't look like I can put, well, maybe I can put something in there. Library name, worn stuff. Just wasn't uh, taking that right there so okay got that there's uh, my own information in there nobody else's and Warren's kit down in preset name click OK and it brought all those loops now when I go out here on the desktop where I save that then okay here's Warren kit uh, Warren's clip uh, or Warren's kit and then if I go on here and in the samples You'll see that I have them named Crash, Kick, and Snare, and that's the names that we gave uh, these individual chunks when we were working on it. So there's Snare, Kick, you know, and that's that's why you would name these and do the um, audio and bounce selection so that it makes a fresh, you know, a small file, and then you can rename that file. So that's what you want to do. So what I'm going to do is start totally from scratch I'll just delete all these shift delete so let's say you came in you're making a new project and you want to start with the drums so I'll go to VST instruments groove agent this groove agent opens up and then I want to put a kit on there so I click here and I can't remember what the name of that was but I remember my name was on it so let's take a look. Oh, there it is. Warren's, Warren's Rock Kit. So I'll double click that and there's all the samples still on there. Okay, so that works. And what I want to do now is go back to the home button here and go into the loop samples. Wait for that to load up and go into Rock Pop Toolbox. Now everybody should have this. I don't know if it's in Cubase AI. I think it is. But definitely this came with Cubase LE or, um, elements and it probably come with Artist and Pro too. So I'm going to look for some kind of a drum beat in here. Okay, so I'll put that on here and then open up Groove Agent to see what's going on. Then press spacebar. So that was using a rim shot, so I don't have that in there. But if you built your whole kit, you would have that uh, that in there. So let me just delete this and find maybe we got something. That sounds like it might have what we're looking for. Yeah, there you go. So I have kick and snare. Okay, so now that that's in there, let's do the uh, taste test, I guess you can say. So I'm going to load a kit. Let's see what we got here. Let's try that Brit winner. Could be anything. 
press play. Okay, that works. Load kit. Let's take a look at something else. Um, let's see what Mammoth looks like. It's winter. There's snow. Okay, that works. So let me go back and load my own kit again. Warren's Rock Kit. Okay, so there's my kit playing. The kick and the crash together. So, as you can see, if you keep the naming convention, um, then you can change to anything, any of the other kits, because the pads will be in the proper order where, where they're supposed to be. So, I think that's probably the end of this tutorial. Hopefully, I covered everything, and now you know what you can do. And it's very cool because, like I said, you can record anything, any kind of sound, and you can put it on the pads and you can use those sounds. It doesn't have to just be drum beats, it could be vocals, um, anything. And uh, make your own very custom tunes and also be able to make your own drum kits and pad kits. So, hope you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. And leave comments if you want. Uh, very much appreciate them and uh, maybe uh, if you have a question about something else I can answer it so um, have a very blessed rest of the week and I'll see you in the next time bye bye